Hello, this is me again. Um, this is my second attempt at a guided meditation. So, the first one was called Trust. And I had you underwater swimming. This one I'm going to call Intuition. And I'm going to try to guide you to the point where you can call on your intuition to solve problems for you. And try to use it to understand and assess the situation or use it to communicate with others or use it to try to assess a future event and see what's going to happen in the future. So with that in mind, let's begin. First thing, just like last time, find a comfortable place to sit. Right now I'm outside, so you may hear the sounds of birds or people in the background. For this meditation, I want you to try to sit instead of um, lying down, sit in a chair somewhere. First thing I'd like is for you to picture yourself sitting in a space that you think is wonderful. This could be the top of a mountain. This could be in a cafe in Paris. This could be a cafe in Morocco. Somewhere that's beautiful, inspiring. and has a good view. Once you're there, in your mind, I want you to do another set of strong breathing in through your nose. Out through your mouth. And if your eyes aren't already closed, I'd like you to close them now. Continue breathing strongly in through your nose. And out through your mouth. As you look around you, 
try to notice or imagine specific details. If you're in Paris, try to imagine the people there. What do they look like? What is the fashion? What are they wearing? Picture the shape. Picture the colors. Get as vivid as you can in terms of detail. So now, as you sit there, I want you to imagine something for me. Wherever you are, even if you're in a secluded area in your mind, like a forest, I want you to imagine that there's a creature or being or person, doesn't matter that comes up to you and gives you a hot or cold drink of your choice, whatever your favorite drink is. This could be hot cocoa. If you are somewhere cold, or even if you're not, could be iced tea, could be regular tea, herbal tea, could be a pint of beer, could be a glass of wine, it makes no difference. Something that you truly enjoy. thank the person or the being, the creature and you receive this drink and you think to yourself, well I don't know this person I don't trust this person necessarily but this is something I enjoy so I'm going to go ahead and drink it and you do slowly or as quickly as you want maybe savoring the flavor Maybe drinking it quickly because it's something that you want to drink right away. After you've drank your drink or finished it, something strange happens. The drink disappears. The container that's holding the drink disappears. In fact, not only does it disappear, it becomes glitter, shimmering, glittering light. And it's all kinds of different colors. And this, this light travels across your body, covers you. And it feels incredibly refreshing when it does this. After you feel the presence of this light and this glittering light, shimmering glittering light that's covering you, the light begins to fade and you notice on your body 
that there's markings that it left. Like a tattoo. But it's all over. First you look at these markings and they seem like random lines with no particular significance. Then, strangely enough, you begin to see that these aren't just random lines, these are very specific markings. In fact, what it really is, is a map. Doesn't matter where it begins, doesn't matter where it ends, but it's some sort of map. You can imagine it any way you want to. It's like a treasure map. And on one end of it, it says where you are. And then the other end of it, it says where you're going to be. And where you're going to be can change depending on what you will. For example, you could will yourself to want to be a star in Las Vegas as a magician. And when you will it and you think it in your mind and you strongly think it, the map changes and it shows you how to get where you're trying to go. And the next day, maybe you think, oh, I'd rather be a veterinarian. I think I'd just rather be a veterinarian. And you will it strongly enough and you truly desire it and the map changes. And now you can see that it's showing you how to be a veterinarian what steps to take, where to go, who to talk to. And as you think even harder, and you hold this goal in your mind even more, <coughs> the less you need to do the more you want this thing that you want, the more these people begin to just simply appear in front of you. People that you need to know in order to reach this goal. People that you desire to know on the way towards this goal. And if your goal is to know a certain person, The more you will it, the more you'll meet people that will lead you to this person. And the more strongly you desire it, the more these people will begin to just simply appear in front of you without any effort on your part, aside from your strong willing them to be there. And the more you imagine it, the more clear the map is, the more you can see it clearly. And even these sounds and voices begin to appear that tell you what to do and where to go in your hour of need. And you realize that this is all happening because of the power of this magic drink that you had. So whenever you're ready, I want you to slowly take a deep breath in through your nose. 
out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. And I want you to, before you leave this place, remember that this map exists. In your mind, and you can recall it anywhere and anytime. This map can be changed depending on your goals, but it's always there and it will always guide you. And the more you will, the stronger your will is, the stronger your desire is, the more easily these people will begin to come to you. And the less you'll have to effort at anything, the more that these circumstances will begin to arise and you'll find yourself in the middle of them, not wishing you were there, but actually being there in the middle of whatever it is you're trying to do. And so the, the line between you, where you are now, and the line where the treasure is begins to become shorter and shorter until you are standing in front of this treasure chest. So now picture yourself standing in front of this treasure chest that you've been searching for. There's a lock on it, but you happen to have a key for some reason. You notice it in your pocket. Take out your key and open the lock. Take the lock off, open the chest. Whatever you desire, whatever you want, whatever you're needing, whatever you feel you want is in that chest. Pick it out, take it out, pick it up, hold it. View it, look at it. And realize that it's yours. Belongs to only you and no one else. And you can have it and you can own it and possess it forever. Okay. But just to be safe, (laughs) you put it back in the chest and you lock it, knowing that it's always going to be there for you. But you'd rather keep it safe at the moment, free from being lost or being stolen. So go ahead and put it back in. Close the chest. Lock it with your key. Put your key back in your pocket. Find yourself in a comfortable place again. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. One more time. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. You feel your body again, you feel your hands, your legs, your feet. You remember that you're sitting in a beautiful place, surrounded by beautiful things or people. And whenever you're ready, begin to slowly open your eyes. See your surroundings. Remember your life. Remember that you're right back where you were. 
you're back where you were. Except for one difference. Now you know where your treasure is. And you know that you can get it and have it and hold it anytime you want. And it's yours forever. You know that there are guides that can get you back to it. And you know that whatever the treasure is, whatever you want it to be, can change depending on your strong desire for it and your vivid imagining of it. And the more strongly you desire it, the closer it gets to you. And the less you have to work at bringing it towards you. So with that being said, that concludes the second guided meditation. I hope to see you in this place again soon. But until then, goodbye.